Paul Hamilton here. Let's take a look at how to embed a Google form into an iBook. So I'm here, I've got my Bookery open, which is my widget generator. I've also got my Google Drive open. Now to create a form, um, all you need to do is press on the create down the side and create a form. So I won't go through that today, but that's how you create your form. I've already got one set up. So here's my fraction reflection all set up as a Google form. And so it's opening now. You can see I've got some questions. I've got an embedded video there, um, some different things there, and so on. Now, up the top, you can see over here, it says View Live Form. So I'm going to press on that once to have a look at how it looks from a live version. And I'm going to copy the address of that. So that's Command C. So that's the first point. Actually do that part of it. Now I'm actually going to go into my... Um, Bookery widget, so I'll open up Bookery here, and we're going to create our widget that allows us to view that. So I'm going to go down Bookery, you need to sign in first and create a, an account. So I'll go to my widget library, and then I'm going to go to the second one here, which is just a web browser. So I'll click on web browser once, click on download this widget. Select one of the books, or you might need to create a sample book just to download it. And all we're going to do here is just give it a little name. I might call that um, form. In this bit here, I'm going to command V and actually put in my address. I'm going to click the do not validate URL. You can play around with that and see what works best for you. And then I'm going to save it down the bottom. And then all I need to do is go down the bottom again and press download. And you can see it jumps up here into my downloads, top right hand corner ready. Um, that pops up, don't worry about that. So that's um, really, really easy. I'm just gonna minimize that now. Jump into my iBooks author. And I've got a page all set up to drag my widget. Now normally I would go here for a widget, but this time I'm going to open up um, my web browser and I'm going to drag that widget, which is in my downloads, just onto my page. Now I can get back into here, have a bit of a play around with it. I can resize my widget. I'm going to use it uh, this way, make it nice and actually wide so that it actually looks good in the actual thing there. I'm gonna save my document, obviously. Um, save it there to make sure it's saved. And that's basically it. Um, so if I jump over to my iPad now and look at a previous one that I've already generated, um, what it looks like in iBooks is fantastic. So I'm gonna open up iBooks there. This is my digital book here. We'll just flick over to the actual widget and there it is there. So there's the, um, the Google form on fractions. I click that and embed it in that automatically as I've got this um, wonderful Google form that the students can fill out and actually submit and I will receive all of that data um, via email and, and into my um, Google Drive, which is fantastic. So that's just a quick way of inserting um, a bookery widget, a Google form into your iBook. Paul Hamilton here signing off.